Welcome, this is Automotive Anonymous, and I'm so glad you're here. That's the Stoffel Tayx E-Kite. It's a level two EV charger, and in fact, it might just be the best one that you can buy for 2023, especially at the price point where these things are only a couple hundred dollars. So today I get to show you, over the next few minutes, the unboxing, the installation, and the basic use of this level two charger to help you decide if this might be the right one for you. So with that said, let's dive right in with this review. If you're new to my channel, I don't currently own an EV, but I regularly drive them when doing car reviews. So having a charger like this is a handy thing to have access to. This one's pretty simple. It plugs into a NEMA 1450 outlet, which is a 240 volt that's protected by a 50 amp breaker. I recently had mine installed by the Watt Wizard. You can find that installation video on my channel if you're interested. But in addition to the plug and play characteristics of chargers like this, the E-Kite, there's also wired in chargers. That's a slightly more permanent garage setup. It can cost more and overall, it's not the one I wanted to go with. This thing can easily be moved or repositioned if ever needed. When you get your E-Kite, it comes with everything that you'll need to easily install it at home. Once you have your 240 volt NEMA plug, of course. So you get the brackets, screws, drywall anchors, instructions, the charging converter, the plug dock, as well as these three RFID cards to grant charging access. Those cards are necessary because without scanning one over the icon on the charger, it won't flow any electricity. So this could actually be very useful if you install the e-kite outside, which you're allowed to do because it's IP66 water resistant. That way no random EV owners are gonna successfully take your juice without a card. Every brand is of course gonna have its own set of pros and cons, but the benefits of the e-kite, at least in my mind, the big ones that stand out, are its IP66 water resistant rated. So even though I'm not gonna be plugging it in outside in the rain, it's nice to know that it's a closed system and that I could if I needed to. It also has a bunch of advanced software tech to help prevent it from overheating and having other issues. It's UL certified, so it's been third party tested, which means you have peace of mind using this because it's a proven product. I would not consider any electronic, especially something like this, if it's not UL listed. And then this one charges at 32 amps, which isn't actually as high as the NEMA's max capacity at 40 amps, but it's still faster than some other level two chargers and charging at 32 amps creates less heat. So there's less wasted energy, meaning it's not gonna be as expensive per kilowatt hour you gain from this one. Overall, it's very affordable. These can be found for several hundred dollars currently, so I'm gonna leave some links and any discounts I can find in the description below, so check those out if you're interested. And then, like most level two home chargers, it's convenient, it's compact in size, but this one just looks a lot cooler than a lot of the other ones. And then if you want, if you have a Tesla, you can actually order this with a J1772 to a Tesla adapter so that you can charge basically any EV. The regular EVs are on the e-kite plug that it comes with, or that adapter lets you use it on the modern Teslas. Now that you know what's in the box, how to set it up on the wall, and what the benefits are of this one, it's time to show you how easy it is to use. So always turn off the breaker when you plug something in or out of the NEMA plug, because that's a really powerful outlet and the prongs are long, it's just a good safety measure to take. And then, once it's plugged in and turned on, it lights up, it's ready to go. So put the plug in the charge port of your EV, or if you have a Tesla, put the J1772 adapter in first and then plug it in. And then you'd think it would start charging, but no, that's where the cards come in. Just wipe the card over the icon and now it's ready to meet the charging demands of whatever your car is set up. It's that easy, it takes about 12 seconds. Overall, my initial impressions of the Stoke Voltaics E-Kite Level two EV charger is that it's really good, really affordable, and I appreciate all the benefits that it has in its engineering. I have no clue how long it'll stay in the several hundred dollar ballpark on Amazon, but hey, I'm not complaining. I think that's a really good deal right now, especially compared to the competition. If you've made it this far, I hope my video review is really helpful and I really appreciate you watching. If you wanna learn more about the 240 plug installation, I have a quick time-lapse video of that with a lot of good details regarding it on my channel that you're welcome to watch. Otherwise, comment your thoughts and opinions below on chargers, EVs, outlets, whatever's on your mind currently. And I hope to see you on the next one. If you appreciate this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Otherwise, have an awesome rest of your day. Take care.